Okay, hello, welcome back everyone, Mark Sedgwick again, and we will discuss how to switch camera um, even if you have only one camera and you want to create a single camera render for a preview animation or something like that. If you don't have a camera yet in your scene, uh, you can press P and adjust your view and press Ctrl C and it will generate a camera and replace your camera uh, perspective viewport with your new camera viewport. Okay, so that's how it is done default. Let me press P. I have already a camera set up, so let me just press delete. I don't want to use this camera, but I want to use this one. So select, pressing C, and it will bring up the camera view that belongs to that position. Okay, um, at this stage, because the camera is selected, I can see no keys. That's good. This, this camera is not animated yet. If there are keys, you can highlight them and hit delete. Make sure when you are deleting any type of animation keys, the timeline is bluish, so that means that's active. Okay, so let me turn on animation, select a camera, and uh, yeah, uh, camera's already selected, I guess. Okay, select camera. Yeah, there we are. We have no target, so I'll move to 30 and make my changes. For example, rotate around. Uh, dolly the camera, use a pan, so quite a lot of changes going on here. And now we have two keys, so from 0 to 30 it has this change. If you want to make it as an instant switch, you can select the first key, hold down shift, drag it to th 29 in this case. So please note when you are dragging a key actually in the bottom here, at here, it will tell you which one is the keyframe that it occupies at that stage so right so at 29 we are holding from 0 to 29 the camera frame is the same the camera key is same and then there's an instant switch so if we want to move along and switch to another camera i will just copy this key right away at uh, for example 99 and then move my uh, time slider to 100 and then i can make a change and zoom out and use the pad and uh, give it a little bit of a more dramatic angle. Okay, so make some changes. That's great. And now at 99, this is the previous one. There's no nothing really going on. And then there's a switch and duck, and we can move on forward. Okay, let me create another one. So at here, the camera will move again at 100. Slash shift and drag. Move it to 159, and at 160, I want to rotate and move this position. So the camera is a little bit tilting, I guess. No, it's not tilting. The figure is, is actually leaning forward. Okay, so maybe a little bit like this. And there we go. So this is the pose, this is a camera, and then just switching, and now it tells more. Okay, let me show this as a play. So there we are. Switching. And switching back. Okay, so that's how it goes. Now uh, take a look what is actually happening with the camera. So perspective. And now the camera is switching and changing positions. Okay, so that's what you do. Now, what else? If you have already created these camera positions and you want to keep them and don't want to accidentally start animating the camera, what you can do is select the camera and go to the hierarchy panel and go to link info and we have different locks. So you can actually lock the movement, uh, lock scaling, rotation, and everything so when we are in um, I mean all W here's render camera and I try to move the render camera it actually won't move anymore accidentally if you are operating in a camera if you're using a pen for example it won't make uh, things uh, change usually the pen is the problem all right thank you very much and see you next time